Okay, we're going to start working on lesson two in Microsoft Word Core and Jasper Active. So go ahead and click Microsoft Word 2016 Core to open it up and click on the lesson two tab. If you've already taken your quiz, great. If not, go ahead and answer randomly. At the bottom, click OK. When it comes back up with whatever you've got, um, you're going to get back to this menu and click on Activate All to activate all of the lessons. And then if you've already started one and you're missing some, you can click on the Practice button. Otherwise, you're going to click on the Learn button. So we're going to start with changing the view. I've already done it, so I'm going to click Practice. I'll click Continue. And then I'm going to go through really quick and just mark mine as unanswered. Okay, so we have five steps to this lesson. The first step is use the show or hide paragraph command. Open the file TEC employee list under documents slash Jasper active slash resource files. So I'm going to go to file, open, browse. And then it's already in my documents, and there's my Jasper Active folder. So I'll click, double click in there. Yours will probably have your name first, and then it will have your My Projects resource file and starter file folders. So I'm going to double click into Resource Files, and there's the file I'm looking for, TEC Employee List. I'm going to double click that to open it. Step two says click the Home tab. I'm on that already and in the paragraph group. So I have all my groups here and there's a label at the bottom of each of them. Here's my paragraph group right here. Click the show hide paragraph icon or command to show the formatting marks, right? That's this guy right here. So when I click on it, suddenly I can see those paragraph marks throughout the document. It says scroll through the document and notice how the paragraph markers show you where the enter key was pressed. So anytime you press the enter key, that's where that little marker will show. All right, that's the end of those instructions. So I'm going to click Mark as Answered and then click the Next button. Change the view. Step one, scroll to the top of the document. I can use my scroll bar here. Or if I have a mouse with a wheel, I can wheel up. In the lower right corner of the screen, click the Read Mode View button. So remember, you can hover over things to tell you what they are. There's our Read Mode right there. I'm going to click on that. Click on the arrow at the right to move to the next set of pages to view. Step three says in the View Buttons area, click the Print Layout View button to change the view. So I'm on Read Mode right now. There's my Print Layout button right there. That's the last step. So I'm going to click Mark as Answered and then Next. So step three, change the zoom. This one can get a little tricky. It asks you to click the Zoom Level button. So we need to find the zoom level button. And I think it might be this guy right here. So you just double click where it gives you that percentage mark of your zoom and it will pop up your dialog box. It says click many pages. It's right here. And then click the monitor button. So this is an icon of a monitor. There's a little arrow right here that says there's a drop down menu and it wants you to select three pages. So you can see down underneath where I'm highlighting these, it tells me how many pages. One times four, two times three. I'm looking for one times three. I want to see three pages only. And then I'm going to click OK and it should show me three pages across the top. It wants you to drag the zoom slider until it is approximately at 1%. So dragging it, not clicking it, make sure that you follow the instructions that Jasper Active gives you. 
there's 100%. That's the last step. Click Mark as answered and go to Next. So using the show hide command, click the home tab, and if in the home in, in the paragraph group, click the show hide parentheses or formatting marks button to hide the formatting marks. So there they've disappeared off of my page. I'm going to click mark as answered and next. And then it wants us to split the window. Scroll to the top of the document, click the View tab, and in the Windows group, remember down here at the bottom it shows us what our groups are. I have Views, Page Movement, Show, Zoom, and Window. There's Window right here. It wants me to click Split. So I see the Split icon right here. Now it's split my screen. Now it asks me to press Control plus End in the current window to see the end of the document. So over on your keyboard towards the right, you should have a small group of keys and one of them will say End. You're going to hold the Control key down and then press the End button and it should make your cursor go all the way to the end of the document. Make sure you're active in the document that you're working in so that your keyboard shortcuts will work. There we go. All the way down to the end. On the View tab in the Windows group, click Remove Split. So I'm going back up, clicking on Remove Split, and then close this document without saving. So I can just hit the X right here. I'm going to click Mark as Answered and show results. And yes. There we go. I should have five green check marks and 100%. I can X out. It will take me back to Jasper Active.